Hi guys, so today we're removing gel nail polish. I actually had this professionally put on and then they wanted to charge me $40 to remove it. So I thought I would try to do it myself. So here's what you need. You're going to need tin foil cut into 10 squares uh, because we have 10 toes and some nail polish remover. I'm just using the cheap kind. Uh, some cotton pads or cotton balls. I like the cotton pads and a cuticle remover stick. I'm using the one by Tweezer Man. First, we are going to take the cotton balls or cotton pads and add nail polish remover to them. I like to make sure that they get tons of nail polish remover on there and then just lay it flat onto the nail. Now, with the bigger nails, I'm using an entire cotton pad to make sure that it covers all the way, but you can use smaller cut in half or cut in force if you want. We're gonna lay it flat on there and then take our tin foil square and wrap it around by twisting it at the top to hold it tight. And we're just gonna repeat that step with all of our nails. Um, and then we'll go from there. You'll notice the farther we get into this, it's actually harder to wrap the tin foil because obviously with the tin foil, it's making the space in between our toes smaller. But um, you know, you just kind of have to work with it. And it is a little bit uncomfortable, but not too bad. Now I thought I'd show you guys real quick what it would be like if you used a toe spacer like you would if you were painting your nails. And it actually makes it a lot harder to get the tin foil wrapped around. So I think that it's easier to just go without the toe spacer. And then when you're ready to repaint your nails, go ahead and add that in if you feel like it. So we're just repeating once again on this other side. I am starting from the other nail, from the small little pinky toe and going forward this time, which actually seemed to be more difficult. So I would recommend starting with your big toe and moving that way. Um, also, you saw that I cut the, cu cut the cotton pad in order to make it fit properly. I really recommend that because then it gets like really bulging and sticking out and it's just terrible to sit with. Okay, and now all of our toes are wrapped and we're just going to let this sit for four minutes because that is the directions that I got from the woman at the salon and we will see what it's like from there. Okay, so it's been four minutes and we're now going to remove the tinfoil and cotton pad. It actually comes off really easily, just pull it forward or up and we're going to take our tweezer man cuticle pusher and push the nail polish up and what this does is kind of scrapes the nail polish away from the nail and you'll see it kind of like flakes off especially depending on how many layers when i had mine done um she put a clear coat layer and then two layers of black and then two layers of gold and then two layers of clear coat so there's a whole lot of layers going on here and um I personally have actually found that four minutes was not enough. Uh, you'll notice that I'm able to get some of it off, but not all of it. And so I ended up taking the long route and have I did four minutes, tried to remove it, it didn't work. So then I went back and just let it, I rewrapped my toes and let it sit for about 10 minutes. 
So I would highly recommend doing that just from the get go, just let it sit for 10 minutes so that then you don't have to deal with the rewrapping of the toes. It's just a much faster process and um, saves you a little bit of time. You can just sit there and watch one of your favorite shows or something while you're waiting. And um, also, as you can see, I have bubble wrap on my table. The reason I did that was because I knew it was going to make a huge mess scraping this off. But um, I actually had run out of paper towels and I had bubble wrap. So I laid that over just to kind of catch it so that it wasn't making a massive mess all over my nice table. Now, like I mentioned before, four minutes was just not long enough, so I'm just going to rewrap all of the toes and let them sit for 10 minutes. And like I said, just start with 10 minutes from the get-go and you won't have to do the longer process that I went through. So now we're just going to continue to scrape the rest of the nail polish off the nail. Um, I have found that using our wet cotton balls or cotton pads helps every now and then on there. It just kind of adds a little more of the nail polish remover to the nail polish as well as cleaning it up so you can see exactly where you need to be scraping. using some cuticle or nail oil this is the se apricot and this is really important after removing the gel nail polish because you've obviously not only allowed the gel to sit on there which can dry out your nails but also using so much of the uh, nail polish remover so go ahead and add that Once again, adding the SE oil to the nails. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys save a little bit of money. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.